Hi, AJ Avoli here with the Omni La Costa Resort, and I'm here today to help you get out of the greenside bunker. The first thing we want to do is assess our lie. If we have a good lie, we're going to go ahead and open the club face from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and then grip the club face. From there, we're going to aim towards the target. The club face will look like it's pointed to the right of the target. So we're going to keep walking our body to the left. We want a nice wide stance. We're walking our body to the left until the club face is pointed at the hole. And from there, we're going to set our weight a little bit left, about 60%. A lot of you may be swinging your arms too much. We want to, we want to get some speed here. So we want speed to create spin. So we want to create a nice angle to help you to get spin on your shots. From there, one of the important things is to keep your weight on your left foot and not move it back. We want to hit about an inch into an inch and a half of sand, so we want to keep our upper body over the golf ball so that we can ensure that we take the correct amount of sand. Let me demonstrate. All right, let's say you got yourself at the bunker. Let's see if you can get yourself out. Okay, I'm pretty sure with you coaching me, I'll be able to do it just fine. <laughs> so we're going to open the club face. We're going to have the ball forward in our stance. Nice relaxed hands. And then we're going to try to create a nice little hinge motion with a turn. Okay, so. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, this is, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. It's very normal for a lot of us to make more of our full swing. Okay. So basically we want to keep the club more in front of your body. So what we have to do is create that V-shaped hinge motion where the club's more in front of your body because if it's behind your body, you'll have a tendency to hit too much sand. Okay. So you want to keep the club more in front of your body. And so if you stay to the left and keep your hands close to your leg, as you hinge, you'll find that the club will stay more in front of you. Okay. Okay, okay so not back here, right here. Correct. There you go. Okay. Good. And let's do that and splash the sand okay. a couple of times. So I'll put a little line here for you. Okay. So that's, pretend like that's the ball. Okay. And I'm going to actually stand here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I want you to take your backswing where you feel like your hands stay in closer to your body. Okay. And hinge up the club this way, which okay. may feel a little awkward. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Better. Go through. Good. We just hit maybe two and a half inches of sand. So I want you to hit maybe about that much, about an inch of sand. Okay. So we're going to focus not on the ball, but on that line. Swing through. Better. Good. So the more you do that, the closer you'll hit to the ball and you'll get a little more spin off of your shot. You're getting them all out. We're just hitting a little too much sand, which will make the ball roll. Gotcha. So the better you can get at that hinge motion, the better, the easier these will be. Cool. Yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>